my companion, or a smile as he departed this life, falling on the field of battle. I was unsure of what I ought do to protect those dear to me. But you, a warrior as valiant as a dragon, have shown me the way. I, Zhao Yun, shall pierce through the darkness, enveloping our age. An army of a hundred thousand might stand in my way, but it would matter not. For like a majestic Chilin, I shall carve out a road to peace. Forward. We will retake the mountain and avenge the fallen. <sighs> ha! He can blather away in the afterlife now. Brother, you know what to do. <laughs> hmm? Come on, let's get it done. <sighs> Dragon of Heaven. Bear witness to our unshakable bond and unbreakable will! Corrupt officials, eh? That's good. I will do justice to them for what the law has not done. My dutiful blade has slain thousands of scoundrels. And yet there's no end to it. It's as if this war only claims the decent men, leaving nothing but scum. As true warriors, we are honor-bound to defend the innocent. I'll prove I'm no mere brawler. I want to see people smiling again, and I'll do what it takes so they can. With chivalry in our hearts, let our strength match that of the Chinlong itself. What a feeling! We've not done that since back at the Peach Orchard. Indeed. My soul has not been stirred like that for some time. Brother, you are unharmed. The Yellow Turban soldiers have left the area. Take the path behind the altar and go to Guansong. <sighs> We will follow, and no doubt meet again. Assuming you don't get yourselves killed! <sighs> the Swan Clan's strength rivals even that of a ferocious tiger. Our descendants are destined to establish their own dominance one day. But before that, we will have to deal with that malicious Chi, who will cut through the darkness that engulfs this world. Will it be I, or perhaps it will be you, my worthy rival. Commandant Chow must be told what happened here. I must make haste. <sighs> This chaos, is it all his fault? Hmm. I need to let the Master know, right away. Will you join me? Uh. 
The body's internal sources of energy from which chi flows are known as elixir fields. Depending on its application, chi can convert to either a genuine state or a demonic one. We hermits of Tianzhu, dwelling far from prying eyes in the mountains, harness genuine chi to wield wizardly spells. We have tracked the course of man's destiny for countless ages. Yet we have now entered a time of ceaseless war that has flooded the land with demonic chi and even allowed vile demons to roam unchecked. Fate intended for us to meet here. So I ask you, will you help me hunt down those responsible for this plague of demonic chi? Your chi is what will restore light to this age of darkness. Even by Zeus taking a liking to you, it seems. I never imagined I'd see this mountain overrun with demons. It goes to show that the demonic chi is still rife. Master! You shouldn't overexert yourself. Hearing you say that... <laughs> really makes me wish I was young again. Ah, I take it you have new information? <laughs> Let's return post-haste. I shall not allow my status as a mere advisor to hold me back any longer. The House of Han is on its knees. It no longer has the power to unite the nation. That is why... I, Xiao Chao, shall bring down the evils of old and bring peace and prosperity to the land. What is needed now is a tactical mind unimpeded by morality. If you wish for an ally to walk beside you through the ravages of war, simply call upon this unscrupulous hero. For like Ju Chue, we shall soar through the sky engulfed in righteous fire! War is upon us. I must leave the capital and begin preparations. Mengde, we are always at your service. Looks like it's finally time for our men to get to work. Huh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Lord Yuan Shao is sure to be pleased as well. <sighs> the night will burn bright when a hero steps forward to quell the world's chaos. As one whose only strength is in contemplating the charts of the sky, all that I can do is offer you my interpretations of the stars, bestowing you some insight of what will come. Place me by your side, that I may ensure you do not stray from the path the stars have illuminated for you. I pray that the stars will offer you their clear guidance in this dark time. Thanks to you, the capital is safe. Now, let us get back to the others. Death! Hold on! Father! 
This is what happens to those who disobey me. <laughs> Take heed for when the time comes for you to answer. You bastard! <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> Curses! <laughs> Our father restrained us from completely losing ourselves to bloodlust. And then, in sacrificing his life, he set an example for all Swen descendants to follow. Our bloodline is not to give succor to the evildoers. We are to strengthen ourselves, and one day, bring order to this land. Your claws are not those of the tiger like ours. However, we want you present as we set off. And sail towards a bright future, as kings overseeing an era of prosperity for all. With our ship's helm adorned by that liar Taoist's severed head. has been elsewhere. You have surpassed me. Both of you. Grow strong and take care of your men. As commanders, you must be calm and collected. And Bofu, you are just like me. Always reckless. <laughs> <laughs> that man, he must be stopped. Dad! Father! <laughs> 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 He was the person I always wanted to be like. To catch up to. And then he left without a farewell. I need to know why he set his sights on the elixir. Otherwise, I'll never be able to get things back to normal. Seeing you fearlessly face up to the demonic tea has given me determination. It may take force to get the truth out of him. But there's no one he would tell other than me. I will never give up. For when it comes to being stubborn, even my brother cannot best me. <clears throat> to think he survived. I... I hope the day will come when we can train together once more. You and Jean! Curses! What should we do? Stand back, Miao Tai. <laughs> the Shao Duan I know is not the sort of man to give up so easily. Wherever our arms. 
army bravely charges. We've been there to give our blades in support. It's up to us, the Shaho clan, to guide Mungda on the path to victory. My arrow will pierce any who dare to raise their blade to him. He's like a brother to us! But your genuine chi is formidable. You knocked sense into me when I was in my demonic rage. So maybe you'll not be needing my bow, huh? It's no mystery why boss rates you so highly. We'd follow you into death's abyss without hesitation. We'll ensure he commands over all the land. You just watch. Looks like I owe you one. There he is! Defeat the enemy general, Zhang Liao! Why are you... I've roamed this land with Bixia, honing my blade, in search of what makes a warrior. Now, I think I have finally come upon an answer. We may lose our lives in battle, but we shall never lose our spirit. A warrior fights for something that they can't bear to lose. I looked up to General Liu, he was a true warrior among warriors. If my life were to end today, I'd leave no regrets. Except maybe wishing that I had known another warrior of such high caliber was in our midst. Sheathe your weapons. You would not stand in my way, if not for a good reason. Killing you will be regrettable. How about you? Surrender and serve the Imperial Court. Have mercy on my men. Then I will pledge allegiance with no objection. Lu Bu is making a final stand at Sha Pi. You had best come with us. Wait. My brother is... I am a man of honor, so I can't tell you everything now.
I knew immediately that I had to destroy Yuji after finding out this chaos was his doing. A Taoist spreading a vile elixir and controlling demons has no right to tread this land. I could not allow the people of my village, who made me who I am, or my one and only flesh and blood, to get caught up in this madness. That is why I left my village and pledged a false allegiance to Dong Zhuo to infiltrate their forces. I hoped to track Yu Ji's actions. I swallowed my pride and did their bidding. I brought the elixir to Meiwu Fort and was able to prevent it from spreading among the lords. Yet, I was still unable to pin down Yu Ji. So, in my desperation, I risked everything. I stole the elixir. I figured if I sat on it without using it myself, he would eventually show his face. And it worked. But... I came one step short. You bested me. Perhaps you can take Yuji down. The responsibility of bringing an end to the spread of demonic chi is in your hands now. General Liu was determined to not let you get involved. He fought a long, hard, and lonely fight. was true, yet I lacked the strength to carry out what needed to be done. We who were born apart shall die together. That was my oath to Yun Chong and Yida, and so we made our first step out into the world. I have fought hard and lost so very much, nearly even my life. But even in my darkest moments of despair, there was one thing I never lost. The belief in my brothers. You showed me my beliefs were not misplaced. And so, with even stronger bonds to support me, I shall continue to strive forward. of you and my brothers here quelled the raging demonic chi within me. I will always remember what you've done. I will have to find a way to repay you. I know. Why don't we watch the blossoms? I know a good spot for it. Sounds good to me. But our battle is far from over. 
Yuan Shao would have all the land fall under the thrall of his demonized army. There was an unearthly sky mm. reaching over Guandu. Are you saying that's Yuan Shao's mm. doing? It is only by your hands now that this tyrannical rampage can be halted. <clears throat> We will do what we can here. Return to Minister Cao. We must do everything in our power to stymie the ambitions of Yuan Shao. <sighs> My father was highly respected for his official rank. I too held him in great regard. Yet he willingly set me off as an adopted son, severing the bond between father and son. After spending time with Amon, my trust in the bond between people was somewhat restored. However, when those who I considered friends left me as I stood before my capital in flames, my fragile notions of those bonds were shattered. All that I could cling to was the power I drew from the Crimson Glow. In the end, even that was not sufficient to lead me to victory. I can scarcely believe that a true bond holds so strong and shines so brightly as this. I suppose I ought to thank you. You're late, Aman. Finish your conquest without delay, and prove that bonds truly do have value. Ben Chu, in death you will be a star. So watch over me to the very last. <sighs> Gather up. All of the elixir here. I'm leaving the rest to you. It's over. At last. My brother can rest in peace. Hmm. Ancestry, the clan that bears the Dragon's Elixir Field, become known. And so, I sealed off my eyes and the terrible power within them. Yuji drained my body's energy in his effort to create an ultimate elixir. However, I resisted and prevented his dark power from controlling me totally. It was my belief in you that allowed me to do this. 
Seeing you bravely fight on. Never losing faith in your allies for a moment. Has given me the courage to now open my eyes. I can just picture his beaming face now. <laughs> With Zudong's help, we're a hundred strong! Brothers, let us renew our oath. Ah! Hmm. To do all in our power. As brothers, sharing one heart, caring for each other, and aiding those in need. We will support the Han court. And bring peace to the commoners! <clears throat> <clears throat>